What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and I'm going to give you guys a quick weekend snippet. Maybe I didn't get as many videos as I wanted done during the week, although I did do pretty well this week. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a couple of little sneak peeks into some uh, ball python IDs, some clutches we had earlier this year that were setting up and, and that were really kind of cool, some stuff that we couldn't really necessarily figure out. So let's go and see what's going on on this weekend of Halloween. <laughs> All right, Pablo and I are just IDing some uh, snakes uh, that we're setting up. And this little boy comes from a mandarin crossed with a banana sugar pastel mandarin. And I, I'm, you know, I originally thought maybe this was a regular mandarin. Well, I knew it was a regular mandarin. But now that I've seen it shed, it almost looks super mandarin. It's really, really bright. This is really a nice male. Wow. Pop, this is, uh, this guy's got some really intense reds in him. I, I'm, I'm going to put this down as a possible super. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. This is really, really, there's nothing else in here. There's no way there's sugar in here or anything like that. So this definitely could be a uh, super mandarin. Let's take a look at the next litter mate. Keep this guy here. Now here's the next litter mate, and this one is really also very man. And let's put these guys next to each other. This one is probably even better. Wow. You know, the thing about the Mandarin gene, a lot of people always ask me, and they send me pictures, what do you think this is? It's Mandarin, super Mandarin. I don't know, to be honest with you, because you know, Mandarin has a lot of levels of expression. I have single copy Mandarins that almost look like normal ball pythons, but Mandarin really messes with patterns too. So if you know there's no other genes in there and, and the pattern doesn't look like a normal, it's probably a Mandarin. Now this, these two are so bright that I, I you know, I want to almost call them, I'm going to call them obviously possible super Mandarins. I'm not going to call them super Mandarins until they're bred out, but these are really, really high expression for sure. What's the third one we got? We have one more, right? Mm -hmm. Pull the other one out. That's the, 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 the banana one, right? Yeah. All right, let's, let's take a look at the next one. All right, now this one is the um, banana mandarin or possible super mandarin. I don't think there's sugar in here, Pop, right? I mean, I, I don't see sugar in here. There would be a lot more white if there was sugar in here, but that thing is like glowing like it's almost radioactive. I'm inside, I'm not even using natural light and this thing is just outrageous looking. Put, let's move the other one next to this one here. This one and this one right here. All right, so that's what I think it looks like a possible super mandarin. This is certainly banana mandarin, at the very least, possible super mandarin. So we can see the head there. Wow. Oh my God. That thing is seriously looks like it's like got some uranium in it or something like that. <laughs> it's like seriously radioactive. That is amazing looking. Wow. Talk about a great project. I love it. All right, here's a little clutch update. This was from a, oh, this was a crazy breeding. Super Orange Dream Enchi Fire Yellow Belly bred to a Super Enchi Orange Dream Red Stripe Possible Fire Yellow Belly. Um, the, the funny thing was I didn't know each parent, I didn't think any of the parents were Yellow Belly and I got an Ivory. I thought it was originally, I thought it was a Super Fire because they, I knew the parents were both potentially Fire. And then I realized, I looked at it, I'm like, that's, that's a ivory. And then I'm like, where the heck did that thing come from? And obviously both parents were yellow belly too. So um, really, really nice babies. Now this one is super clean. That's a, that's a, what I believe to be super orange dream enchi. Although the pinched head looks almost like super enchi, but to me it doesn't look super enchi. Um, I think it's the, that's the super orange dream doing that. Um, Pablo thinks it's red stripe, right Pablo? I, I don't know, you, you, you think because of that striped tail, huh? Might be. It's really orange, this thing. I mean, real. that's like the most orange snake I've ever seen, like pretty much. So super orange dream, and she, I don't think there's any fire in there. That would make sense if it was red stripe. And then it, obviously look at the blushing down here. That definitely looks yellow belly too. So that thing's a, that's a stunning, stunning, stunning male. Right, is that a male? Yeah. Yeah, that's a male. He's swift. And then this one, even crazier this is a female this one is oops i think i i mean i would bet look at that head look at the pinched head let's see if we can open it up a little bit 
we'll get someone yelling at us saying, you guys are mishated, mm -hmm. over, too, too rough with those snakes. That's a uh, super, I think it's super orange dream, super enchi, definitely red stripe, show that stripe. Yeah, that's, that thing's really striped well. You definitely yellow belly too, I'd say in that one. And, and it could be fire too, because this is real, look, look at the, compared to this one, they're much lighter. That's much, much lighter. I don't think Super Enchi would, would lighten it that much. Now, obviously, if this one is red stripe, this one's not, maybe. But I think there's fire in this one. We'll see as it goes, it gets older, it'll get it'll get more and more yellow. Um, this thing is wacky. Look, look at the, look at these. Yeah, the blushing, but the different levels of orange from here to here. That's crazy. And then this ivory is really wacky, too. And of course, we don't even know what, the ivory's got to be at least orange dream and enchi because the, the parents, one parent was super enchi, one was uh, super orange dreams. I, at least it's orange dream, enchi, ivory. And it could also be obviously possible fire, it could be possible red stripe, it could be possible super orange dream, possible super enchi. And that's a male, right? Oh, a female, too. Yeah. So, wow. I don't even know what to do with these. They're, they're, they're beautiful, though. Wow. That's better than I expected. And we only got, th I think one of them died, right? We had one snake yeah. that died. It was like, I think we had two inch, uh, two ivories in this clutch. Small clutch, but really, that thing is, that thing's a stunner. We've got some really nice looking snakes in this. Place. It's amazing how, how much better and she gets, I mean, how much better Enchi and Orange Dream gets as they age and shed. These guys are getting better and better. Pretty happy with that. All right, guys, I hope you had a uh, very, very happy Halloween weekend. I hope you, or you're going to have a happy Halloween weekend. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing. I got the kids, we're going trick or treating. And uh, I, I'm wearing my, I'm, I'm the Yankee Clipper today. <laughs> if any of you guys know who the Yankee Clipper is, put it in the comments below. I might give you guys a free prize uh, but my kids are definitely dressing up my son's a werewolf but he had to tell the kids the teachers at school that he was the big bad wolf from little red riding hood because you can't be a werewolf at school you have to pick something that's in a storybook or something like that my daughter was captain marvel uh, she loved that costume and my little one shayla did not want to dress up although we did she originally wanted to be a pumpkin so we got her a little pumpkin dress but she wasn't that happy but you know she's only two She's excused. Next year, she'll 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 want to do the do it the right way. I was gonna do a uh, the best pumpkin ball python I had, and I forgot to mention it when I was doing the video. And then I realized that that last clutch I showed you, that yet orange one, was certainly the most pumpkinish of the pumpkins that I have here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. So that wins pumpkin of the year. All right, guys, you know what to do. I hope you're enjoying all these videos. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit that like button. We'll see you back Monday morning.